What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Apple's iPhone conference just ended. We got a ton to talk about. There were some surprises, some things we already knew, but a lot of Apple goodness. So if you missed the keynote, let me tell you everything that happened. So it got started in predictable fashion with Tim Cook coming on stage talking about the iTunes Festival, which I didn't even know was a thing, but it's already in its seventh year. It's 30 nights of music that takes place in London. Awesome. They talked about Apple retail. It's growing. The new design for their Stanford store is going to be huge. Uh, then they talked a little bit more about iOS 7. It's hard to believe it's been three whole months since it was unveiled at WWDC. Talked about all the features we already knew, like Parallax, Command Center, and Search. Series new and improved. It can be mail. So I guess we knew that, but it's kind of neat. New ringtones were added, so now you can get your disco on to the party. Uh, they pretty much just went through everything about iOS 7. Nothing really new quite yet, but they did give us a release date. It'll be free beginning September 18th. Yay! And speaking of free, let's talk about iWork, which sometimes I do. Uh, so all five iWork apps will be free on iOS for any new iPad, iPhone, or fifth generation iPod Touch. We don't know if you own a current generation, if you download it, if it'll be free, but we'll have that information very soon. But heck, free products. And then we got on to the main stars of the show, the iPhone, and Tim Cook came back on stage and said, the iPhone 5 was the most loved iPhone 5 ever. And then they killed it. That's what they do, their most loved child, man. I hate to be their second most loved child. Uh, and then Phil Schiller came back on stage to talk about two new iPhone designs. Who knew? First up, predictably, is the iPhone 5C, and that is the official name. They even poked a little bit of fun into leaks, saying, and I quote, a few of you may have seen some of these shots on the web, and that's cool. But you know they didn't think it was cool. They're all like, stupid leaking factories from China sending these cases out. Anyway, it's going to be available in green, yellow, blue, pink, and white. The design has no seams, part lines, or joints. Then they talked about cases for the iPhone 5, which actually look pretty neat. Uh, they were designed around the camera and flash while still allowing the device's color to shine through. The back looks like a Connect 4 board. Uh, so you can still see the device color and sort of contrast with other new cases, uh, which are made of hard-coated polycarbonate, also plastic. Uh, inside the iPhone 5C, they built it with an all-new construction method that uses reinforced steel structure. Um, so, spec time. What does the 5C have? Uh, it's got a 4-inch retina display, uh, integrated touch with full sRGB widescreen video, powered by the iPhone 5's, I guess now the 5C's, A6 processor, 8-megapixel eyesight camera with hybrid IR filter and 5-element lens. There is a new FaceTime HD camera that even takes better shots in low light. It's got a 1.9 micron pixel size, LTE, 802.11 ABGNN, no AC. But what about price? Blue, white, pink, yellow, and green, 16 gigs is going to be 99 bucks, and 32 gigs is going to be 199 bucks with a two-year deal. And those hot new cases, they are going to be 29 bucks. And for those of you that care about the environment, uh, the iPhone is arsenic-free, mercury-free, and according to Apple, Android-free. Then they showed a video, and Johnny Ive and his cool Johnny Ive accent said, and I quote, "The iPhone 5 is beautifully, unapologetically plastic." which I didn't know what that meant, it was just kind of funny. Do they have like phones that are plastic that apologize? Next up, the iPhone 5S, which is kind of cool. They claim that it is the most forward-thinking iPhone ever, which kind of sucked for the iPhone 5C that got announced the same day. Uh, the colors, it's got new colors. It's gonna be available in gold, silver, and space gray. Uh, but where things get different are what's under the hood, as usually the case with the S variants. Being powered by an A764 bit chip, the first of any kind. 64 bit is crazy. It's got over 1 billion transistors, which is twice as many as the A6. iOS 7 also has been updated to support 64 bit as well. So, what does all of this 64 bitness mean? It means essentially that CPU and graphics are now twice as fast. To get all technical on you, it runs OpenGL ES 3.0. And then it was demo time, and with the new iPhone, you know you're going to get epic games out there. And Donald Mustard took the stage and announced Infinity Blade 3, the completion of the trilogy. Until the next trilogy, I guess. Uh, but it does look predictably awesome. The graphics are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it'll be available alongside the new iPhone 5S. And then Phil Schiller came back on stage, and he said the A7 has a surprise. It brought its buddy with it, the new M7, which is essentially a motion coprocessor. So it measures motion data continuously, accelerometer, gyroscope, and compass support, all does all that kind of stuff. So anytime your phone moves, this thing is working. 
Uh, what it's gonna do though is enable a totally new generation of health and fitness app, like the just announced now Nike Plus Move, yay! This all new processing power, what's it gonna do to battery life? It's pretty close to the same. You're going to get 10 hours of 3G talk time, 250 hours of standby time, 10 hours of LTE browsing, and 40 hours of music playback, which is a lot of music playback. And then next, they move to the camera. And it used to be, and I quote, that if you take better pictures, you just had to be a better photographer. The new camera has a five element Apple design lens with f2.2 aperture. It's got 15% larger active sensor area. So essentially think of it as ultra pixels, but Apple'd up. Bigger pixels make for a better picture, Phil says, and HTC says, yeah, dude, we know. iOS 7 is designed to take advantage of the new camera. It automatically sets white balance, exposure level, and creates a dynamic local tone map. Uh, there's a new flash which we knew about. It's gonna be called True Tone, which supposedly solves a problem of clashing color temperatures. There are over 1,000 unique variations and it'll make skin tone look more natural, which for guys pale as me is super awesome. Uh, also, we've got digital stabilization in there. Burst mode, you just hold down the shutter button and you'll get 10 frames per second. Uh, and thanks to the A7, the phone analyzes all of those burst shots and, prevents, and presents rather which one it thinks is the best. We also have slow motion, 120 frames per second. Uh, it's capturing HD 720p video at 120 frames. You can go in and select which parts of the video you want normal speed and which parts you want in slow-mo, which you can do some pretty cool editing, I think, with that. All right, next, what about device protection? Before you knew how to put in a password. Well, Apple says that's so passe. What are they calling this crazy fingerprint scanner? It's called Touch ID, which is just apple for they're gonna scan what's on your hand. Uh, the sensor is a 170 micron thin, which I don't know how thin a micron is, but I'm guessing it's super thin. Uh, it's got a 500 PPI resolution. It scans sub-epidermal skin layers and a 360 degree readability. And coincidentally, I can see it through the lens and your epidermis is showing. Uh, and it's built right into the home button. So essentially around it is a stainless steel detection ring. So it can detect that your finger is actually on the button so you don't have to press it. So it's not an LED, just stainless steel ring. Uh, it goes way beyond unlocking your phone though, which I thought was one of the coolest things that Apple announced. Since it's built in, you can make iTunes purchases by using your fingerprint to authenticate. So no more having to enter passwords to buy stuff. It'll know it's you based on your fingerprint. Assuming nobody chopped off your finger or your hand, uh, you're gonna be pretty good. And the sensor essentially takes a picture of your fingerprint and analyzes it. Uh, so all this hotness, what about pricing? Pricing stays the same. 16 gig, 199 bucks. 32 gigs, 299 smackaroos, and 64. The big daddy is gonna set you back $399. Also, there are cases, but they're not as cool as the 5C cases. But if you're interested, they're gonna run you 39 bucks each. Uh, the iPhone 4S is going to stay in the lineup in eight gigabyte flavors for free. Uh, the 5C will be available for pre-order on September 13th, and the 5S and 5C will be available in stores on September 20th. It's going to launch first, at least, in US, Australia, Canada, China for the first time, France, Germany, uh, and a few other countries all around the world, including Japan, Singapore, and the UK. The rest of the world, though, will come sometime in December. So a lot of awesome news and a lot of cool things that were included with the A7 Pros, their fingerprint scanning, uh, big emissions for me. I would have loved the larger screen size, but we didn't know that was gonna happen. Uh, and still no NFC, but maybe that's the big feature for the iPhone 6. It's never too early to start iPhone 6 rumors. So what do you guys think? I would love to hear from you. Do you love the new colors? Is it space gray that you want? Is it gold that you want? Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Till I see these, a person's gonna be hard to tell what they actually look like. You know, which ones used to be the old white version, which one's black, you know, which one's going to be, you know, the crazy new gold. Um, what the gold colors are gonna look like. Is it bright gold, like, you know, rapper style? Is it champagne? Is it more of an off yellow? Don't know yet, but we'll know very, very soon. Leave all your comments right down below. I wanna hear what you guys are excited about. Which color 5C are you gonna get? Which color case you're gonna get? I wanna hear from you. And of course, stay tuned to Techno Buffalo for all the latest and greatest coverage on the 5S and 5C. I'm John Renter from Techno Buffalo. Hope you guys enjoyed. What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you wanna check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.